If you haven't watched all of our previous videos, we have traveled from York to Lake District. Um, we're traveling the UK for a whole month and today is the 10th day, I'm pretty sure. It's currently 3.43, it's dark outside because the sun sets really late compared to Australia. This hotel that we're staying at is absolutely beautiful. It's called the um, Mearwood Country House Hotel. And it looks like a castle, like you go up the driveway and like, it's just so pretty. The lobby is beautiful, the Christmas decorations. We have a restaurant, um, a drawing room. We have dinner booked at 6 p.m. Bit of a late dinner. I might get a little bit dressed up. I might get a bit dressed up. I'm gonna straighten my hair actually a little Me bit. Too. I'm over it, as you can see, half curly, half straight at the moment. I wonder if they do washing here. Because I spilled kebab juice on my scarf and it's the only scarf that I have. You will need it in Scotland. Guys, this is the best holiday that we've ever, ever. done and planned. Like, I'm so sad, I don't want it to be over, but I'm so grateful for this holiday so much. Plan is we are going to unpack our suitcases and we're gonna use the amenities. We're gonna use the wardrobe. We're gonna use, because we've got drawers and we're just gonna put everything, because. We have oh not God. been doing that. We've just been living out of a suitcase and last time it explodes out into the hotel. This hotel we have a big drawers. wardrobe and drawers. Oh, what's we that? have drawers Iron and board. Oh, we have, oh my god, that is so cute. So we've got those two drawers and then these are really good for hanging up your jackets. We have a fan. We did a room tour in our previous vlog at the end. So if you want to like check out, I mean. You not, should be watching these in order. You can see it anyway, but yeah, you should be watching these in order. If you don't want to watch the last vlog and you just want to have a quick look at our room, this is our room. Big bed and then we have a bathroom just in here. So yeah. Just finished straightening my hair, just like tidying it up. It is still a bit curly in the roots, but I'm not bothered. Like you can see from the outside that it's it's tame. This is the dress I'm thinking of wearing, maybe, from White Fox. It's got a split, but I only have Ugg boots. I've decided I'm gonna wear the dress. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna wear the sweater over the top. Sorry to switch over to iPhone footage, but I don't wanna be carrying that big chunky camera around. Our booking's not until 6.30 and it's six o'clock right now, so we have 30 minutes. And we just grabbed a Jemison and Pepsi. And we're in this room here. It's like a all big, by all by itself in this big living room. And you hear that? That's rain. Yeah. Feels like we live in a castle and we're just like chilling in our living room. Yeah. Mm. The restaurant is that way down the hall and the bar is that way. And then you go up the stairs to our room. These pictures are very random, eh? <laughs> we're the only ones in here at the moment. Not sure what's going on, but yeah. With the rain behind you. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, I'm full of the cookie monster. I feel good, like I am so ravenous that that meal just made me feel Good. We met a bunch of guys that are together for tonight for a Christmas get, get together, together that they do every single year. And they're wearing their Christmas, Christmas sweaters, sweaters. That's like they're his brother made or something. We heard about the story. Yeah. But they're all wearing these matching Christmas sweaters. But when we first met them, like we came out from dinner about to go upstairs. And then like this guy with this Christmas sweater. It's like, hey, I'm just wondering, um, are you able to take a photo of us? Like and next like, to yeah, the, of course. The, um, next, to the next to the fire or next to the Christmas tree. They wanted like the Christmas tree and the fire in it. And they both like just wanted a photo with their like, their little jumpers on and then we took the photo and he was like so grateful like you know like these they're like you know, 40, 40 year old men 40 year old, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but instantly just like their energy were like so, so sweet. sweet we got a photo with them all <laughs> they, wanted, they wanted, wanted a photo with us yeah because we ended up taking a photo of the whole group and they're like yeah you guys get in it too so we ended up getting a photo but yeah that was really nice put me in the best mood me too we've met some really nice people in england that's with traveling like you just get to meet such awesome people yeah. that you would not have even met at Oh, like we're 22 hours away from Australia. But we're gonna have a shower now. That was that delicious. The food here is amazing. Like if you wow. stay at the Mearwood Country House, oh my God. We're about to go for our breakfast buffet. I wonder what the coffee's gonna taste like. I haven't really found like really nice coffee except the one bath. That was delicious. Oh I missed that one. Also, if you've got Uggs and you have like brown marks on it, I highly suggest makeup wipes. It gets rid of it. So breakfast is in the same restaurant that we had dinner last night and they have a buffet. So we have some yogurt, fruit. What are these called again? Croissants. Croissants. Not sure what they are, but they're not veggie mics. We're not in Australia. All the sauces. Oh, this is so cute. We've got a selection of juices and cereals. We just got some toast and black coffee because the milk here is making us really tired. So we thought we're just only going to have a little bit of milk instead of getting a latte. Just a little bit of milk. That's good. 
Breakfast is served eggs florentine, which is spinach on the base instead of bacon. It's so good, doesn't it? Jazz has got a hoodie ready to go. <laughs> We're going for a walk. It's called Rydell Caves. I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Like Rydell? Rydell? Yeah, apparently um, if you watch The Witcher, there's this cave and it's like not because usually caves are like underground. I think this one's above ground, like up a mountain. Also, we're wearing our waterproof boots today. And if you've kept up with all our vlogs, we get really bad blisters from wearing these shoes. So, oh my God, the rain's just like come down real fast now. Yeah, we love the rain, don't we? Um, right. I've got two wet. rain jackets on. <laughs> one that I bought from Oxford and then the one that I bought from Australia. Oh, I can't get over how beautiful this is. Like what? That just... Cave was just there and we're continuing up. Just when we thought we couldn't get any higher. Look at this. You can see the, pretty much the whole lake. And we're still going up. <laughs> look what we're about to climb. And look, can you see him? Little sheep. I'm bugging. Holy. <laughs> Going up another hill. We made it. My jeans are soaked. I'm so excited to get back to our hotel. Freshen up. Wow. Wow. We're gonna have a bath and a Bailey's. I'm excited. These jeans are soaked. They were so heavy walking in back. <laughs> like, look at that. Fun. Bloody worth it. This is the current situation. We're washing our pants, washing detergent in a sheet. You get the point. <gasps> so funny. Good morning. Still got my fair noise on. We're getting ready for our breakfast buffet. I'm excited for my breakfast buffet. You know what my favourite part is like the cup of coffee. We're gonna have two breakfasts. We have one savoury and one sweet. Gotta get that free food. We woke up like walking so slow because our legs hurt so bad after yesterday. That was the biggest, no, nah, not the biggest. Matt Warning was the biggest. <laughs> but second biggest hike that I've done. We ended up coming back here, having a shower, and then we tried to drive back to the village to like find something to eat and like explore. But we almost had like a fight in the car because I didn't know where I was going and I was stressing and I was tired and I needed food. So I fuck it, we'll come back to the hotel. So we came back here and had some Baileys and a snack. It's actually really good. Yeah, it was nice. Like, it was no point. No point getting in the car. No. See, that's why sometimes hiring a car is a bit tricky. So on today's agenda, we need to find an ornament. Renee needs to find an ornament, a Christmas ornament. Renee's finding an ornament for every single place. If you're new here, we got one for all the places that we're going to in England. It feels like I'm a broken record trying to explain it in every video. I know, video. but I've got to get like, an ornament everywhere I go. Yeah. Someone messaged me and was like, oh, if you're in Lake District, highly recommend Keswick. Hang on. Oh my God, I got that too at the um, chocolate factory, but I couldn't get, find it. 30 minute drive. Oh. It's like going to Tweed Heads. From Merba. I want to check out. Keswick. Um, someone is. said Hawkshead. Someone said that that's their favorite little village in the UK. Hawkshead. My white pants are no longer white. They're like full of mud. And I'm like, oh, is there any point in me just even taking them back home? I can get rid of them. Yeah, I think they're like a See you later. Out. But yeah, Keswick is 36 minutes away. And look at these photos. Yeah, this is our last day, so we need to like. We need to go everywhere. Like, oh my god. Quick. Sorry. Quick smart, quick smart. Renee and I were on the dating apps last night. Um, Renee was looking for someone because like, you know, she set her location to England. I just want to have a little bit of fun. Like, yeah. Like even just to like meet, meet up with someone. Here. Even if it's not like relation, like even if it's not like, love. I, 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 what do you call it? I haven't really been in the dating game for a really long time. And I just want to like get myself warmed up, ready for the one. Obviously I'm enjoying myself being single and exploring and just like hanging out with you. But like deep down, you know, it yeah, is relationships are very exciting. Yeah, some people like don't give a hell. The thing is, like, you have to, you're finding this person that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with. No, like, no, you're no, basically like, replacing me. I've been me. excited for it my whole life. Like, I'm yeah. just like, I need to find the one. Like, I'm sure everyone, like, so many people can relate to that. And then when you overthink it, nothing happens. Yeah, and then you got like high expectations. It's 
9 20 in the morning we've had breakfast and we've made it to our first destination we've written in our notes everything that we want to do today so the first on the list is Hawkshed village so we made it here it's quite a stressful drive because the people here drive so fast and the roads are so windy and there's always someone up our ass it's so annoying so we're just trying to find a place to pay for our parking and then these lovely ladies came out of the car and was like hey we've just the parking here is so expensive it's a ripoff we just got our hair done we have an extra hour to have our ticket she's like you've got till 10 17. Merry and Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. And our lucky number is 117. So I think it's so funny that we're here till 1017. Like out of all the times, I couldn't believe it. This one reminds me of um, Harry Potter oh, and he writes it. Oh, no way for Ben. Some lipsticks. It's a phone. Jazz is just going to the toilet and you have to pay to go to the toilet here, 50p. Lucky I don't need to go. It's so cold here. I wasn't expecting it to be this cold. I'm pretty sure it's like four degrees. We just went into the chocolate factory and we got some little chocolates. These are the little chocolates that we picked. We even have some um, alcoholic ones, like a whiskey one. How much did that cost? 50p, which is like 50 cents, which is probably a dollar out of ours. We're just in the fitting rooms. We've picked up a few pieces that we like. Renee's gonna show you the pieces that she picked up. First of all, this one. So pretty. Got that little quarter zip. And then I picked up this one. I love this. I got this scarf to wear right now. But also my scarf has kebab all over it. I can't get it out. This is really thick. 100% wool, handmade in Nepal. Oh, I'm oversized. I love the love heart. It's so comfortable. It's actually really soft. I like them both, so I'm gonna get them both. Nice. This is it. I know. This is exactly what I've been dreaming of. This, this exact moment. This is this is the best part of the holiday. I can't believe we're allowed in here amongst the sheep. There's a gate and I was like, surely this is a private property. And there was a little thing saying Lake District National Park. This is amazing. We're playing Outlander music. Because <laughs> of this view. You're kidding. Just complete the vibes and guys look. We're amongst the sheep. There's so many places that you can walk. You can either go that way, straight ahead, or that way. Oh, we can go through the cemetery, I think, that way. This is actually a really beautiful view of the Hawkshire, what is it? Hawkshire Hawkshed village. village. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing some things wrong. Oh, I'm gonna miss this moment. I oh, know, me too. Us watching this on the TV back at home. Oh my gosh. We're gonna try some of these chocolates. I would like to try Bailey's first. I do too. Mmm. Oh yeah, Bailey's. We're gonna try custard next. Oh, that one looks good. Oh, mm. that one's better. Wow. Hazelnut cream. Mmm, mm. it's soft in the middle. This one's a caramel frappuccino. How's that? Mmm, mmm, salted caramel. That's my favorite one. This one's got vodka in it. Oh, oh wow. It's got cream in there. Mmm, that's quite good, isn't it? Yum. This one's whiskey. Fudgy. Mmm. Can't take the whiskey. Yeah, I can. Can you? Mmm. Next up we have Nutella. It tastes like a fur of The texture's really soft. Yeah. Like almost like fudgy. This one's the prettiest. This one's red velvet. Oh, red velvet. Wow. Now we are off to Beatrix Potter's house, which is Sorry. where Beatrix Potter wrote the Peter Rabbit books. That's really Remember cute. the start of the Peter Rabbit and she goes out to paint in her backyard? Yeah. Is that where it is? Yeah. We're going there. That's so cute. I oh know. Seven minutes away. Oh, thank goodness. Guys, I don't like driving around here. Beatrix Potter's house is closed for the winter, but there was like a little sign that was like, recommended this walk instead. And it was like, scan this QR code to find the walk. Anyway, got this walk up. We're following the directions. First directions was walking on stony road. Stony, yeah, right. And like the road's literally stony. And this walk is so beautiful, like the views. Renee and I have had the most magical day. I would have to say my favorite day so far out of all the days I've been here, which is crazy. Like, what made the biggest difference is when we went on that last walk, we went on a walk, it's called 
to the Tarn house. What made a difference was playing music. We played Outlander on the walk I think and it that's just made it. 100%. We started walking at 2.30 and sun sets here at 4. So it started to get really dark and we got lost and <laughs> we got really scared. I got end. scared for a second. Yeah, Renee freaked out. She I started panicked. running and just splashed into a puddle. I thought that was so funny. Got mud everywhere. We're about to go for dinner. We're having dinner in our hotel again. We have not had dinner anywhere so except here because it's so delicious. I read a poster down there and it said award-winning chef. The best food I've ever eaten in my entire life. Mirwood Country House. I'm trying to decide if I should leave this on. I might take it off. It's a pimple patch. We went to this store. We bought some snacks and we thought this was really pretty. So we bought it. Five mini Battenbergs. We're, I've never heard of this. I'm not really a fan of this flavor. I've tasted this flavor before and I can't put my finger on it, but I'm not a fan, but the consistency is freaking delicious. It kind of tastes like a candle or just as a like soap, soap, like soap, but like it was still all right. And then we picked up, oh yeah, this is us trying to be healthy. I was like, you know, we keep on picking up lollies and chocolate because we picked more of that up, but we got some walnuts just for some health. All right, we're going to go get some dinner. I knew, I told you. Well, we got like a whole loaf of bread, like just like a whole sourdough. Really soft. What are you wearing tomorrow? I'm wearing trackies and I'm gonna wear. Doesn't that stink? No. The night before we check out, we pack our bags, we get our outfit out, ready to go, and then all we have to do is wake up, get ready, and leave. 10.52, we're checking out at 11 o'clock. We are <laughs> running late. We slept in. Actually, I forgot my alarm. Shit. We have a little story to tell you. When we were trying to sleep last night, we heard snoring. Oh, and yeah. we have misophonia, like we can't stand snoring, like repetitive sounds, like a massive, like vibration snore. Like, like I, got, I got scared because I was like, oh my God, I can't sleep. Like that. I'm not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> this was such a nice day. I would stay again. It was so cozy and cute. Like it was small. We're going to Scotland. <laughs> We're filling this car up for the first time. Just stopped at a fuel station. We are two and a half hours away and no idea how to fill this guy. Like, the fuel is different. It's got like E10, E5. On the We're just gonna go with too. E5 because the picture is all red and that's the same as Australia. Yeah. So you're gonna come out and help? Yeah, I'll come out. We got fuel and we got a snack, egg, mayo and cress. I don't actually know what cress is. And then lunch dessert is mint chocolate. You like mint chocolate? Yummy. We've also got some lollies in here. We've just checked into the Covenanta Hotel. I can't really pronounce that properly, but this hotel was featured in the Outlander series. That is why we booked it. I'll give you a little room tour. There's the door. You walk in, and this is our little room. So cute. Each room has a name, and I'm pretty sure there's only five rooms here. This room's called the Bruce Room. Like they've got the Outlander room, they've got the James room. I can't remember the other names, but I love how they presented the towels on the end of the bed. That's so cute. And then you come through here, and this is our ensuite. I love the tiles in here. Also the shower, it's a little cube, but I actually really like this because it's got like a suction door. So you just like lock yourself in there. Enjoy a little shower. Coming through here, this is heated, which is so nice. Look how big this bathroom is. Kind of looks like your grandma's bathroom. It's like really cozy. Also, this smells so delicious. Sweet mandarin and grapefruit. It's so quiet. Like I feel like I just have to talk really silently, but this is our view. It's a straight view, but I don't know who he is. It's currently the next day. We slept really well, but we're gonna end the vlog here because the next vlog is gonna be the Falkland vlog. And I just wanna say this is probably my favorite. This is so cute. You say, say it every, every time. time. It's like literally kidding. getting better and better. Stay tuned for the next video. I'm really excited. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye.